It's barter time! <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hey, did you notice in the picture? Are we allowed to talk? Yeah, we're not here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did you notice yeah. that your lipstick matched my shirt? Yes. How I cool did. is that? I did. I did. His sweater matched my. I posted uh, my it. Shirt. I can't believe you, you, you noticed that. That's I posted funny. it. It's a great picture. It's a great picture. Yeah, it is. It really is. We, we look. Yeah, we actually look like we're actually not bad looking people. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> this is a well framed picture. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm doing a thousand things. I'm asking you one sec. You're doing it from a mean Sorry. page, right? Yeah. Okay. They can hear us, right? Yep. It should be on there right now. Let's quote. I'm not, I'm not online. I'm doing something else real fast. Let's quote Road Warrior lines. Give me one. Um, I'm a little Oh, God. Just walk away. <laughs> Three days ago, I saw a tanker that could carry you, a truck that could pull you a tanker. <laughs> Here? Talk to me. Bust, bust the deal. Spin the Spin wheel. The wheel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who run Barter Town? Master Blaster runs. Say loud. Say loud. Oh, Master Blaster. Embargo on. On. Right. All right, well, that's doing. I can do this. And then. And then. Shiny and Chrome. <laughs> the new movie. Oh, oh yeah. Don't about that. Oh, yeah. Mediocre. Ain't nothing mediocre. We got no mediocre books. Mediocre. What a what a wonderful what day. Wonderful day. What a wonderful day. The post apocalypse. All right. Oh, share it. It's Thunderdome! <laughs> Two men enter. One, One man, man leave. leave. Comic books, toys, collectibles, and more. I'm not going to sit in this bandana the entire time. So this is the first time as partners we've hung out in person. We're, we we should be, be six feet. Are we six feet apart? Yes. We need a stick. Yes. We, <laughs> <laughs> we sprayed each other with lace, Lysol. Think we're getting it. Which is, it's kind of a fetish for us anyway. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for more people to come into the event. Uh, we just did this. All right, I'm already over the bandana. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, we just, we did this with Transformers a few days ago. Hi, I'm Justin. Wait, wait, I'm a Morton Justin. This is Frank. Uh, what I call you? Oh, no, he's Lord Stupendous. Lord Stupendous. Yeah, yeah. Stupendous. And uh, <laughs> Mad Maxine. Mad Maxine. She didn't gear up. I didn't gear up because someone has to run the back end of this. Hi. Who run Barter Town? She run Barter Town. Penelope run Barter Town. It's true. Um, <laughs> so this is how we are dealing with not being open. We are bringing things to you guys on Facebook Live, our our trusty people who follow what we do and, and, and help support us and uh it's a lot of fun actually we don't have to clean the store other than you know lysol and yeah. uh 
We get to sit here and be goofy. And this is going to be a long one because we got a lot of comics. Pile comics. Pile over here. Pile over there. And we're going to walk around the store and you guys can, um, you guys can, like, uh, if we're going to walk around the bins, we'll browse the bins. And if there's like, hey, I'm looking for G.I. Joe issue 57. Well, I'll browse the bin and see if we have it and come up with a price. And if we can, you know, if it's worth shipping to you, it's worth selling. That's what it comes down to. Uh, so I don't know about dollar books. You know what I mean? Nah, we probably exactly. Um, but you know, any anything decent. And listen, we are not at the point yet where we're scraping and eating alpo. So please don't throw any crazy offers at us. Like you know, we will laugh it off because we still have food and toilet paper. We're we're not sort of yeah. We're not burning comics for um for fire yet. Not yet. You know. But the prices will be uh, totally reasonable. We, you know, we're beating eBay and all that which stuff. Which we always do. Which anyway. is what we do anyway, exactly. Right. Um, if you notice, we're keeping social distance. We're really, normally we'd both be in there screaming at the camera. Yeah. We're not. We're trying to really be safe. And so should you guys. We really, and we hope that, uh, we hope that this is fun. We do. And we hope you guys are all, you know, wiping your phones off before you come on here. Penelope, I'm going to need you on a computer so you can read that's, me the... Um, that's what... Yeah, oh, you're allowed to get near me. Yeah, one, well, yeah, one girl enters. We sleep together every night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're on camera. You don't have to talk about all that now. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm high. I'm going to get in my, my corner now. The helmet's going to come off soon, too. This is just, uh, you know... Okay. Trying this is to fun, stay, man. Stay in theme. Is anybody else in Mad oh, Max gear right now? I got to pee. I should probably go do that right now. Give me one sec. What do we got going on here? What do you mean, what do we got going on? You're going to be our, you know, you're going to read for us. Justin, if I have to pee, I'm not going to be doing any reading in there. All right, well, head on out. <laughs> Let me load it up. Let me load it up. Okay. Took Justin and I four weeks to make this weapon. It's handcrafted in my dad's machine shop. We did it three years ago, uh, planning for this. Planning for this. We uh, forgot to buy toilet paper, though. We made all kinds of weapons, and we made gear. Yeah. We just didn't afford <laughs> toilet paper. If you notice, this hat has been waiting to come out for yeah. years. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can't look at t chat messages for some reason on here. It's only showing, like, the last three. There's only three. There's only three comments in total? Yeah. Oh, Okay. Two short and one long. I can't read them because my eyes are... In the apocalypse, I'm Jordan, done. So the, the only one I really saw was that Georgie wants to bring us some turtles to buy. So I don't think that's going to be happening for a while. <laughs> yeah. uh, gonna... It depends on what it is, Georgie. You know, you should send us some pictures first. Yeah. To or see if it's... Uh... you can leave them in the parking lot, run, and we'll come, <laughs> as we'll spray them down, look at them, and then we'll, we'll text you off. We have to fire hose you as you approach the building. Yeah. Here I got We one. are... Listen, let's be honest here. We are still buying. Uh, very carefully... And very, we're choosing on a case by case basis. On a case by case basis, yeah. so it really depends on what it is. Um, anything that comes in, believe me, we are cleaning, wiping down, uh, but neurotically, and neurotically. But a wise man once told me, if you're not buying, you're dying, and we need to be buying and selling, or where our, our electric's going to go off. Right now, the other thing is there's, we there's are. No, there's no messages. You see how there's nothing there? It's just not showing up. Just give me a sec. I'll well, take, it take out. your time. Yeah. We are paying a premium. For uh, apocalyptic weapons, any any type of uh, any type of thing like this that you have constructed and you want top dollar, uh, I have I have about seventeen swords. Justin, you could start by doing the giveaway while I'm still trying to get. All right, to yeah. Out. So we what we did we started this off is um, I want to swipe these because I can't read them anyway, so I just need them gone. Oh, they're just gonna stay. Oh, there they go. So be careful what you hit there. You don't want to mess anything up. Um, we said, oh, not this one. This will be <laughs> this will be given away at the end. Yeah. We will be giving this away to whoever lasts. Uh, you had to have made a purchase <laughs> to be involved in the giveaway. You can't just sit there and stare at us and then expect to be given this comment. No, if they sit there the whole time and stare, <laughs> stop. You, know you know this book, right? No, tell me. I don't. Bro, really? No. Really? No. It's first Corona. Oh, no, how? No, I don't know. Who or what is Corona? Yeah, so, oh. so I don't want to jump in here too much, but I just want to poke. Can I poke my head in? Yeah, poke so, uh, it. I'm staying away. Um, yeah, Frank's yeah. over here. So uh, <laughs> so this book is really cool. Um, it's from 1991. Um, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 176 and 177 featured a villain called Corona, who's this interesting looking woman right here. Um, she was created in a lab. And um, some, some runoff from the lab ended up causing a fever-like illness in everyone in Soho, and Spidey had to come and save the day. 
Look wow. at Mary Jane sick in a bed and think, Mary Jane's wow. sick with, with a fever. In I, bed. I had no idea. It's yeah. probably worth like five times what it was a day it's, ago. Yeah, it was, thirty times as much. It's a yeah. thirty dollar book. Yeah, from a dollar. From a, a dollar if, book, yeah. if you could get a dollar for it, if that right. Yeah. Wow. Well, you'll be getting one for free. And if you stay the whole time. Oh, there's no way for us to tell who's in the whole time. Oh, we can't tell if anybody's We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll yeah, we want it. We're going to put names in a hat and somebody's yeah. going to get it. But right now, we'll anybody who it. shared the event, because we're living in the what if times right now, yes. um, gets a nice reader copy of what if number one. Because it, like I said earlier, man, it's not we're we're beyond what if we're like what in like the what tf. What the? What the? <laughs> so, yeah. so so we're having comments about the fact that it's mirror flipped. People are are having some issues with the fact that it's. it's I mirror there's flipped. no way to fix that, guys. Yeah. We're using a phone. Uh, believe me, all the comics are going the right way. Um, <laughs> it's a Facebook. Do, live. We will thing? sit and do descriptions of of the books. Do they need the comics upside down? No, no. So, because it's, it's facing like backwards, mirror, it's a yeah. mirror. So, oh, oh, okay. There's no way to fix that. There's no, it is yeah. what it is. It is what it is. It's the apocalypse, we're, man. We're going <laughs> to read the book to you, the title of the book. We're going to tell you whatever issues are with the book. And if you can't tell... A bizarro far point. Yeah, yeah it is sure bizarro. bizarro. This is the bizarro <laughs> version of what if. This is... <laughs> Don't! That was Klingon for what so, if. <laughs> so I just want to explain to you what I'm seeing on my screen here. Mm -hmm. It's showing me only the three most recent comments. Okay. And there's no way for me to scroll up and down. So I, if I'm not seeing the comment right when it's being commented, I'm not seeing it. All right. So well, that's... That's some new tech stuff. Yeah. That didn't happen last time. I was using just my phone last time, so maybe I'll just... Go to your just phone. Just go to my yeah. phone, yeah. Okay. Just chill out, deep breath. Yeah, okay. Um, give me those... Bear with us. Give me this those, is all give new. Me those names. Are they in something? They're in the swear jar that I already handed right, you. Right there. Oh. Yeah. So all the names are in this swear jar oh. that is going to get... Um, that are in the running for this What If book. Oh, here they are. Oh, I'm actually going to do this in my helmet. So those are the names of everyone who shared the event or the post about the and event. And thank you for doing that. Yes, thank you guys. It means a lot to us. Your support means a lot. And that's not lip service. I, we really mean that. Oh, yeah, you forgot your gloves. Oh, They're the best part. Those diggers. Oh. <laughs> All right. These are my apocalyptic gloves. I'm choosing a name. Penelope might want to read it since it's probably her chicken scratch. My chicken scratch? I have beautiful penmanship, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> thank so you. Sure. It's With stuck together, I can't. Helmet's off. Helmet's off time. Hat staying on. All right. Thank your you, James O'Hagan. You are the lucky winner. Jim O'Hagan, James. Ba it's backwards, but trust me, it's that's what it says. Well, there you go. Say his name backwards. Uh... Nagahawa <laughs> Simaj. Simaj. <laughs> Mr. Simaj. You get Corona. No. You get Fee what if number one. Tau. Oh, he's getting a what if? <laughs> he Fee gets tau. what if. Fee so, uh, James, if you're watching, if you're not watching, at the end of this, we will shoot you a message or you can shoot us a message preemptively and uh, give us your address and this is yours. Yep, DM us. And you can hand me the book. I'll there put it go. in my pile over and there. And you can All actually right. take my home. Uh, yeah, take my home. We're going to need that again at the end when we do more. You know, I actually used to wear this when I rode. No, really? Yeah. Stick it. Oh, I thought it was a prop. It, no. it was a prop. You just didn't know it. Yes. Yeah. I believe it was a costume as it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ride my motorcycle with my spiked helmet. Yeah, like it's not a costume. Um. All right. Let's just jump right in. We got people here? We got people here, right? All right. Who wants to start with some Silver Age X-Men? We've got 16 people watching right now. All right. Um, you got any Silver Age X-Men? I do. Uh, so you got any single digits? Uh, let's take a look. Let's go with the lowest. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you want to yeah. go to lowest to highest or no, highest just, to lowest? just, just, just roll with it, All man. Right. Yeah, let's, uh, let me look and... Yep, that is the lowest. First Kazar. X-Men number 10. All right. It looks like I've got the, uh... First Silver Age Kazar. Um, it's a really nice book. I'm going to let Frank describe the books. How's that? Uh... I don't want to touch them after you, man, to be honest with you. Well, let's take a look. All right, so we'll just take a look here. Oh, we're going to be here a while, huh? Yep. We are going to be here a while, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know how... It's all we, reversed, we, which um, I guess people are going to be upset about. Uh, I don't... There's nothing to be done about it, except unless we turn the phone over and point it that way, but then we can't see the screen. So we won't know how we're, like, framed and all that. Let's just keep going the way we're going. Yeah, yeah let's just keep doing it. Okay. Well, um, Bizarro. All right, so... What's it say on the back? There's no actual grade on the back, but, but we know what it is. It's got it's got some checks in the in the spine. 
you know, it's it's a, I would say a VG. You can take a look. All right. We're gonna try. We're gonna do our best with this. Um, <laughs> listen. It's complete. I know that. I've gone through all the books to see if it's complete. Yeah, every book. It's got some checks on the spine. It's got some typical checks. It's a, yeah. it's an above average reader copy. Definitely a a VG VG plus, depending on how you strict you grade. Yeah. Uh, really nice page uh, color. Off white white. No real no real uh, fading to it. It's it's nice and it's a tough book in that with that white copy. Yes, that cover. That no cover. bad shipping or anything like that. The, typical. The, Show them the spine real quick. Yeah, good, the Justin. spine's going to be the biggest issue with Which it. Which is typical of a lot of Silver Age books. You're going to see... There you go. Right, then, you got some checks. But no tears, no missing pieces, no missing pages. It's a hot book right now. There's rumors all about Kazar. Everybody knows that. Yep. It was a nothing book for years and years and years. And it's it's getting some steam right now. All right. Justin, you look so cute on there. X-Men number 10, Kazar. We're going to call it a VG, VG+. 70 bucks. All right, I'm gonna leave it here if anybody wants it. Uh, you want to get into a book? Uh, well, no, it's not a big deal. Well, yeah, we don't. They don't have to do it, right? You know, they'll yeah. say it as they say. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when you claim something, say what it is you're claiming. Okay, this is a hot book right now. It's the X Men six, number sixteen. It's the first appearance of the Master Mold. I don't know why, but the book's gotten a lot of juice lately. I don't know if there's rumors. It just seems like X Men in general have been really hot because since since Disney, Marvel, Di Marvel, yeah, yeah, right. This is an above average VG book. It borderlines fine, really nice, solid, M less less wear than the K's are on the on the spine, which is why I'm calling it a VG plus borderline fine. If there's any, I don't know if you can tell right here. She's got. Uh, a crease on the corner, really nice page quality, real nice back. This these books all came from the original owner. Where was the crease in the corner? Okay, uh, the X Men Ten Down has here. been claimed. All right, so the crease in the corner, he, he was a little low. You couldn't see it. It's right go. here, right there. Yep, and it has a color break going across. Right. That's I think that's the only real. That's, it's issue a really book. solid book. And we are going to be selling that right now because it's. I'm going to tell you, and there's minimal checks. Yeah, this is this is. Look, depending on I, grading's tough. I would, in my day, I would have called this a fine. Um, it's right now we're gonna have this for eighty-five bucks. And I'm gonna tell you, and we're gonna tell you something right now. Eighty-five for first master mold. We tend to grade low. We want to grade cover low our ass. ass. Right. You know what I mean? We don't want to overgrade something. Uh, we'd rather you be extra happy than than, than disappointed, than pissed off. Right. Um. That being said, 90% of these books came all from the same collection and are all going to be around the same grade, just yeah. to be oh, honest. If not higher or yes. less. Look at the page quality on these books. These, you know, a lot of times you see that tanning, which we have some of those, sure. but this is some really nice page quality, really nice book, 85 bucks. There she is. All right. If you want to, we're okay, going to just pile so them up. The, yeah. the X-Men 10 has been claimed by Alex Conkle. All right. So we'll put that to the side. Thank you, Alex. If you want to put your book right there. Yep. If you put well, and then we'll do the... Yeah. yeah or, we'll do it, well, it's through all the stores. So what's the difference? Yeah. All right. So next we got... And this is a pretty big one. X-Men 13. It's a second Juggy. Oh. This is a very nice copy of this book. Um... I always mix up his first and second appearance because the second appearance has such a great cover. Yeah. I love that cover. Angel. Uh, I'm going to let you describe it. Well, this this is probably of the last... You can see it's co the color. Some color fade, but um, honestly, this is probably the best of the three books. And this is a fine plus, beautiful, solid book. Barely anything. Barely the spine. any. The spines tend to be the big thing with Silver Age books, as most people know, or the chipping on the side, which is the early, early stuff. This is an above average fine copy. Many people, if you went into a lot of other stores, comic stores, they would call this a VF. I we're, hate to say that. We're, we're, we're being conservative. Show them the back, Justin. Yeah. Really beautiful back. This is a solid book. By far the nicest of the three books that we've shown. The only thing I see really is the a, a bit of color variation. You see, it's lighter blue up well, here. Well, and that's because it was a, such a light blue color. Yeah. Color, um, but it does it works its way down. It's nice. It's not definitely not a, in a, a beater. Spine. That spine is is gorgeous. And um, and, and what are we asking on that, Just? Buck twenty five. 
Fuck 20. 120. Actually, I, I got to tell you, that's close to white pages. Yeah, beautiful. And you know what? Just like the, the book before it, the Master Mold book, it's solid book. A lot of Silver Age books, you feel like they're, they're just not put together well. That is a solid example. Uh, we will be wiping off all of these mylars. Yep. For no, seriously. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we're very Just serious about this. Honestly. Frank Andrews watching. Oh. And he said that he agrees with you. It's a better cover than 12. Wow. Cool. So, um, got a buck 20 on second juggernaut. All right. All right. Can I ask a question for you? This is. This? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we can tell by the backs. Yeah. Okay. We, we've got it. We've got a yeah. system down. I just want to make sure I've got it. Okay. Uh, we're... Oh, Lenny's watching. Hi, Lenny. What's up, Lenny? All right. Uh, we're going to slide in here. We're doing X-Men. We love it. That's fine, man. Yeah, Let's... yeah. Um, we got, it, it, look, not really a major key, but a book for some reason that used to be worthless, and it's it's just getting some steam on it. I don't know why. X-Men again, man, just hot. It's uh, X-Men 20. And uh, it's the first appearance of Lucifer, and I believe it's the origin of how Professor X lost his legs. Oh. Why I believe that is because it says it on the cover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unless yeah. the cover's lying. Unless you the cover's it. lying. Um, <laughs> very nice, fine copy of uh, early X-Men, classic Lee Kirby. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the plastic now. I just want to let you guys take a good look at it. S Really nice spine, typical light wear. I have no problem calling this a fine VF minus. It's um, really. We had a question from Robert. Do we have any Daredevils? I don't believe we do. No. Well, we have some in the store that in a pile we could probably get to at the end of this if okay. you want to hang out. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't put any yeah. Daredevils. Um, here's the spine on this book. You can see some checks. This book could be graded a VF by most people. It's a, it's a fine plus, VF minus, however you want to do it. Beautiful coloring, nice solid back. Um, and let's take a look at the interior. Man, look at those pages. That's, Justin. that's, that's white pages. Man, those, are, those would probably, I, I hate calling white pages, yeah, but that's off-white white pages. Slight little wear here. Again, nice solid book, solid staples. That's the only thing I see is the, so, the, the top of the top, spine. Yep, you got, a little, you got a little bit of wear on the spine here. But man, this is just a nice book, and we're gonna let this go for forty dollars. So there you go. Yeah. Nice silver age. Nice silver for 40, bucks. for forty bucks. What can you say about yep. that? Lenny, oh. I agree with you. That Corona book also bugged me out. It's pretty crazy. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes life is, uh, you know, you can't write this stuff. Art imitates Art life. Imi I was just gonna yeah. go in here. Yep. Art imitates life. Let's stick with X Men, hey? So um, hey, another silver age X Men number twenty five. Fantastic cover of the original crew. Uh, fighting El Tigre, and this is just a, this is a fine number twenty five. Tough book in above VG, and I'll tell you why. Why, Justin? Uh, black cover. Black covers, man. Really hard. Always it's among the hardest books to find in decent grade. Yeah, that spine is not tortured. I mean, it's got some checks, but it's not uh... typical of what we've been showing you. Yeah. That is, I always do this. Is it better than a VG? It is. Is it not quite a VF? Absolutely. So you're looking at a fine copy of a black cover. Great cover, by the way. I love the cover. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Crack. Angel coming at you. Yeah, and, and again, we're not going to spend a ton you know, of time. there's a time. little bit of, on every book, right? Yeah. Here. I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of telling you the grade, and that's, you know. Yeah, and that's that's it. We're um, going to be moving along. Barter Town. In a, in a perfect world, we would be grading every one of these books. It's just no, time-consuming. Time and money, and honestly, some books, they're better... Page that, color is book. phenomenal. Yeah, this collection had great page quality. Yeah. Okay. It really did. Uh, well, another book. Uh, Raph, Rafe, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, is interested in the X-Men 20, the one that was $40. Okay. Uh, 20 Right here. Cool. Okay. So, X-Men 20. Thank you, Rafe. Yes. If Rafe wants it, Rafe got it. So, on the X-Men 25, we have 30 bucks. It's a fine. This is one we were just talking about with the phenomenal cover with Angel and the team. Uh, First El Tigre. Don't know who that is. I think uh, that was a gene I, company I back in the, the day. I think he's the tiger. Oh, yes. He's the tiger. He's, uh, El he's, Tigre. He's from Britain. <laughs> he's from he is Britain. not from Britain. <laughs> um, this is going to be a quickie. Uh, this is definitely a quickie. Uh, Listen, guys. We have a lot of comics. We got stacks. Um, we're going with X-Men 22. For, if, hold on. From here on out, we're going to tell you the book. We're going to tell you the grade. And anything major will point out. 
But honestly, we're not going to show you. It's, if yeah, it's a fine, it's a fine. It's yeah. going to take forever. Right. And if you have a question, hey, listen, we don't expect you to spend $100 or $20 Correct. on a book. Please ask questions. We're happy to go back. Yes. We're, we're learning as you learn. Yep. And, and we're, we're, we're getting it down. Yeah, we just don't want to bore you forever either. X-Men. I feel like an auctioneer. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Like, like love coming it. out from the side. Um, X-Men 25 has been claimed by Robert. So I just That's need you, you to right. pass Tigre. that over. El Tigre. That's a... Yeah. Yes. Is yeah. Tell? Yeah. Oh, you can tell by the back. Yeah. You just, yeah. just ask yeah. me, and okay. I'll, and I'll, no uh, and I'll. Thank you, Frank. All right. And Here we. Best. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Bucks, Justin? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is uh, really just if anybody's looking for a filler, it's X Men Twenty Two. Uh, it's Gangway. Here comes a startling stampede of yesterday's most sensational supervillains. Divided we fall. Class, cool cover. Honestly, man, it's just a filler. It's number 22. It's a VG. It is what it is. We're not asking a lot of money on it. Right now, $20, $20 spot gets it. It's our one of our wall books. It'd be in our back. Sure. Um, um, I'm it's not a cheaper wall book, um, but it's a great filler. It's a nice nice shaped book to, to complete your collection. Uh, Absolutely. I think I'd like to interject at this point. Uh, sure. Based on a comment that was just made. Yep. Um, we're not doing pickup for any of this stuff. It's all going to be shipped. To you, unless they want to meet us, uh, I, unless, I, I, you know, I, I don't you, think that's legal right yeah. now. Right, I, I don't. Uh, but DM us and we'll work something out. Yeah, unless yeah. you're gonna be at Walmart when we're going. Uh, yeah, or <laughs> or again, if if we have no problem holding a book until after this yes. is done. If you want to come in and say, look, you know, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. pay you for the book. We do ask that you pay for the book yes. only because Here we we don't want to. If you're local, we are not open to the public. Uh, but if we're out shopping and we meet somewhere, uh, we maybe we could drop it in your mailbox along with some canned soup or something like that. Just DM us. We'll if you work with you. We will work it out. We'll definitely work but, with you. But we are asking for payment. Yes. Within yes. an hour or two of the end. Yeah. The of one thing is we can't hold after the books. we've sent yeah. the invoices yeah. out. Um, okay. So X Men Twenty Two. The biggie is it's got a, a a piece missing out of here, off the corner. Actually, nice, decent spine. Got some creases. You're buying a VG book. It is what it is. It's a twenty dollars yeah. bill. It's there a twenty dollars bill for a silver age. And there we go. Now, there it is. Uh, um, and just to confirm again, I'm sorry we're getting questions here. Uh, it's fine. The price that we, you guys are quoting includes free shipping anywhere correct. in the continental United States. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, I should add forty bucks more to this book. Sorry. All right. No, 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 no. We're good. That twenty two is twenty five now. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Keep that in mind now. Um, yeah, no, I will. It just keeps things simple. Simple. Yes. All right. All right Justin's here's a, here's got a biggie. All right. Do, 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 do. This do, is do, a biggie do, do, do. right here. Where's your, where's I need your, the kazoo. Where's I need, your apocalypse? Yeah, we got. Uh, we're going. I'm going to Avengers. This is Avengers number two. I mean number two. Dos. That's a dos, baby. Right. There's only one. Older Avengers book, and that's number one. one. <laughs> this is before Cap even joins the team. Yes, this is a this is a big book, man, um, and a nice book. Yeah, we're Iron gonna Man's spend a little time in, on this book. Yeah. just let's. Now this isn't as the grade. Unfortunately, is not what the rest of the books have been. Um, you want to hold it and go over? Yeah, it? yeah. But let, sh sh let him so take a look cover. at it. The, yeah. It's solid. It's there. Iron Man's in the gold. Early you know, Thor. It's yeah. the first Space Phantom. Appearance. How do I know that? I'm reading the cover. Yeah. It's got the new giant man. Um, let's let's go with the spine. We're gonna show some spine wear. Obviously, this book I have no problem calling it a good plus VG minus. You guys can go to Overstreet. You can go online. You'll know exactly what that means. We're gonna show you the back. Very nice back. Original staples, not restapled. You always have to look for that. Um, if there's any. It's not restapled. Those are RG staples. Those are original. Yeah. Wow, it's weird how it's stapled. Yeah, yeah, just process. Yep. You've got some overlay with the book. I don't. I'm gonna look at this. I don't remember when this came in. Um, yeah. See, it's still stapled well, but you, the page here over flaps. Um, and got some and, some. You know, it's rough on the edge. You of the can page. see the rough where there was. It, it's basically they overcut the page. Yep. And when it was on a newsstand for twelve cents, nobody cared. So that being said, it's all there. It's not missing any panels or pages. No, no look at major that. Tears. Look at that first page. This is Kirby. Oh, that's awesome. And at his at his really his artistic peak for the next two or three years. Um, killer killer interior hot book. It does have John Boulder's Tom Boulder's name. He's related to Tom Kiefer from uh, from no, Cinderella. Just because his name is Tom. Yeah, <laughs> just that, his family. Uh, his, Tom his family Thumb. started Boulder, Colorado. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> keep going. So uh, uh, he's related want, to Kevin Bacon. Uh, we would like to the get. The store wants to get what for that? I would say 
Mm, with the name inside of it, did we take well, that? Yeah, before? yeah, no, it's it's a good price, man. That's a fair price, dude. So number two, two hundred seventy-five dollars. Uh, I would like to get for Avengers two. Um, it's not a book I'm going to rush to get rid of either. I mean, we we've been in business. I've been in business. At we've got old, more ones in than twos. Yep, and, and and not only that though, but here I'm going to tell you with this early early stuff. I spent ten years at the old store. We've been here three four years. This is the second one I've ever seen come walk in the door. Avengers two are not Avengers. 59 right. or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a bad example because 59 is a good book. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you, could, you could throw a bunch out there. Now that the movies have come out, yeah, there's so yeah, many there, keys. Yeah, first appearance of Guatemala Girl. Yeah. All right. So that's Avengers 2, 275. All right. Um, yeah. Hold on. Sure. One second. Uh, uh. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're just... Dropping bombs? Doesn't it feel, smell good? Did though? you drop a bomb? No, no. I just want to have. I just want to have lights all around us, man. No, you no. want to do a big Avengers book? No, no, no. I, I um. We're, well, the store's doing what we're doing, and we're having fun. Right, is, I'm, I'm enjoying yeah, it. Um, uh, we've Jason, got Jason Robots just said, "Hey guys, hey Jay. What's up, What's Jay? up, Jay? What's up, my man, Jay? Man, yeah. Jay hit a home run. <laughs> Jay is the man. Jay's oh, my yeah. hero. Oh. Yeah. He was, I wonder, he was supposed to get married. I wonder if that went down. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you shoot. get did married, you get married? Jay? Yeah, Jay, how did that work out? Are you guys, did you guys get quarantine married or are you not married yet? That's so curious about that one. All right, Sorry. what do you got? Go All right. I have a really nice copy of X-Men 45. Solid book. Kind of a tough book to find in grade, and I'll tell you why. Purple cover. And that tends, right there with the black cover, those darker covers tend to be really beat. This is a nice, nice, above average VF book. I'm going to take it out, let you see it, but uh, just, you know, really nice book. I don't, I want to say it's a Starenko cover, but it, 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 I don't think it is. It's just got a Starenko look. We do have a Starenko cover coming up with number 51. Man, with the back of that book. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you that's guys. gorgeous. She's got one, two... Three, let's just to be safe, four checks maybe. Really solid, solid filler copy. Take a look at that back. The back matches the front. This book was read a few times and put away. Yeah, it's gorgeous. From the same owner, I'm going to show you the interior. Beautiful white, off-white pages. Just a really nice book. A little bit of tanning down here. Solid book. We are going to let this go for $25, free shipping. Free what? shipping, yeah. insured. Insured. So that's essentially you're buying the book for $20. Bucks. Um, yes. Alex Conkle just commented, it isn't. Steranko only did 49 through 51. Okay. Thank you. Well, we've got 51 coming up next. <laughs> Alex is a big uh, X-Men. Alex, character. can you tell me who's in number 51, his first appearance? Because it's coming. All right, Justin, we're going to go move right on. All right, so I did Avengers 2 before. You know what? How about Avengers 3? What? 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 Oh, yeah, boy. So Avengers 3. This um, is fun. <laughs> again, it's 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 rougher than some of these later books. Uh, Robert has claimed X-Men 45. The okay. spine uh, is rough. I'm going to let Frank talk about it, but you can see the spine. All here. right. This is... this is. There you go. Uh, 25 shit. 25? Um, okay. This is number three. Justin, Justin doesn't feel confident great in books at this time. The truth is, the last three years, he's been a sponge. It really has. Um, it's just like his guitar playing. It just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I haven't gotten better in 20 years. Yeah, well, I'm just going with it. Uh, so, this is, look, this is a filler. It's Avengers 3. Yeah. Um, the, it's not 4. It's not 1. It's 3. It is what it is. Hulk, Submariner versus the Avengers. Um, it's, it's at the peak at the beginning, it's got. I'm convinced it's been. I'm gonna show the back here. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna spend some time on it. It's been restapled. Justin, what are we asking for this book? Because I'm gonna use it in the conversation. All right, we're asking a buck forty for this book. She's got a restaple here. She's got wear down there. Back's definitely got wear. This is a reader. Again, it's Avengers three. I mean, this is 1963. I love when the, when the information was still on the covers and then they realized that covers were being torn off and they needed to keep it on the interior of the oh, book. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Look at that art. That is – wait, you, you haven't seen this. Wait, this is Kirby. Uh, it's, is it Heck or Kirby? I think it's Kirby who did the outlays on it and then Heck did the original – the rest of the art. Just oh, awesome. Hey, what the covers be, but that the page is beautiful. Beautiful. And like – 
I'm just going to give you, let me see if I... The pages are very nice in that. Go through this and... Uh, so we had a question that I'd like to address. Sure. When is DC Day? Oh, we've got some nice DC coming up. So here is the 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 question, the the, the comment about well, that. DC comic books versus Marvel comic books value. Well, we're not going to get into that whole deep uh, thing. Marvel books are up yeah. because Marvel movies are better. That's bottom line, really. I mean, it's what's funny is real quick a subpar Marvel key character does more money than a higher DC character right. at this point. It's well, just, we we've got some nice. DC coming up. Um, uh, we'll probably we're probably gonna do this next week. Maybe I, we haven't really discussed it, but we'll, we'll, we've got we've DC. got tons of DC. Okay, I, I want to show that this page is ripped. I want people to know what they're buying. It's this is an affordable reader copy. Enough said. There you go. Um, so so buck fifty. Uh, buck forty. Uh, buck, buck forty. Buck forty. I'm buck sorry. 40. Buck yeah, 40. it's a little rougher than 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 we originally thought. And uh, just just not a quickie. There's definitely some DC coming. We've got some Swamp Thing number one. Yeah, this isn't just Marvel yeah. Day. Yeah, uh, and we're gonna walk around the store too. So if there's anything DC vibe in there, you know. Right. Okay. That, wanna, we're just pulling in and out. Yeah, I love it. Uh, okay, I've got a beater reader. I'm not even gonna take it out of the plastic. This is Starenko, one of my favorite artists. Absolutely, I have hair envy. The the man has the greatest set of hair I have ever you think seen. It's still real. That's it's sweet. real, man. Yeah, that's real, man. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Uh, I, if it, if it's not, it's a great wig, right? It is. A, it's yeah, a, yeah. I mean, because I couldn't tell. But he might have been wearing the same wig. For See, here's 60 the thing. He's, if it's if if Starenko is wearing a wig, he had a great wig in 1978. <laughs> so, which was really tough because if you ever watch Goodfellas, yeah. that's what wigs look like. Even uh, even Hugh Hefner couldn't afford a good wig. Oh, good. Yeah, that was a good wig. Yeah. This is a reader beater, meaning it's a good, solid copy. Spine wear, classic Starenko cover, first appearance key of Eric the Red, who, um, you know, again, all kinds of rumors, great cover. This is not an expensive book, $25 shipped. Uh, can't, I'm going to hang it this way, let you guys take a look at it. I'm not going to spend a bunch of Sorry, time. Sorry, it's on. backwards. I, it, I know it looks like it says Nemex, but it's really X Men. If that yeah, works, <laughs> that works. Whatever you need, whatever you need yeah. to see, you're getting a nice, good VG copy for 25 bucks shipped. Uh, if you went to the flea market, you'd be happy paying. You no, know, we're gonna we're gonna eventually upgrade to a camera and a laptop so we can see this in. Uh, or we could regular. turn it around. We don't. We won't know what we're saying. Yeah. No, we're. we're we're, like, we're, 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 yeah. we're pulling it. Anybody right. has any questions? Justin's got a big key coming up. I'm going to stick with the uh, single-digit Avengers. And this is now... Now we're stepping up here yes. grade-wise for sure. And this is a key, no doubt about it. Uh, this is going to be Avengers 9, first Wonder Man. The votes are that it's a wig. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Well, that, uh, that solves that. This is a Frank, very thank solid you for the book. Fries. Uh, I, only... I don't offer you some, but I, no, I, no, no, no. Keep yeah, your no. French fries. Yeah. I got 150 on this book, and uh, we're going to look at it real quick. It's really it, nice. If anybody knows what's been happening with the Black Knight book, you realize that the minute that they say that Wonder, Wonder Man. Maybe in any of the new movies, this book's going to go through the re roof. Yeah. This is. I hate to be a speculator. I hate, you know. Yeah, no, I know. But it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Um, we're priced really fair on this book. Um, I actually think you're a little bit underpriced on it. It's it's just always a good book. It's never. It's been a solid book since I've been collecting. Um, and this is it's in great shape. Another purple cover. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I I feel confident calling this a VG plus fine. It, it's more, with more leaning on the fine. The more I look at it, I definitely think it's a fine. It, it's a fine. Yeah. Um, spine wear is minimal here. Just let me just grab okay. it right here. Yeah. Spine wear is minimal, but you have some creasing here. But man, look at that copy. Even, that, the, even the corners. Yeah, that is a sharp, sharp copy. Let's look at the page color. And we're gonna we're gonna turn around the back. Gorgeous back, man. Honestly, the back is better than the front. I mean, it is, and that matters, guys. You grade this stuff. They don't just look at the cover. Um, trying to show you guys the spine, and then let's take a nice look at man. I'm, oh man, beautiful, beautiful. Don Heck art. I was never a Heck fan, but he in his early Avengers, I was, and I'm not just saying that. His early stuff's good. The later he got, the more whack, wacky dacky, Don the Hack. Um, but anyway, beautiful book. Very it, look. Th 
you know, everybody's slinging the word key, key, key. This is actually more of a key. This is actually more of a key than Avengers 2. So, there you go. And what are we asking on that, Just? I think. Yep, 150 all day long, shipped, insured. Kissed, no, cleaned. Cleaned. No. Now, now the other well, thing is, listen, if anybody goes back and looks at this stuff and the books are still available a week from now. Oh, yeah. You feel, yeah. You know, oh, they, totally. Absolutely. They're here. Yeah, if you're watching this video and it's not live, but we still have the books, check with us. Um, okay. We, you know, Here's the thing, though. They might, if they get listed, they're getting listed for more. This is like a deal for the online. Yeah. Oh, this is the online price yep. to our... Barter to, Town. Barter Town. Um, <laughs> all right. Every now and then, there are books that get to be called key and then there are books that the are, are, are key uh i, I major I keys huh oh you mean keys that are like oh always been always woken. yeah th this is a book that i cherished to own when i was a kid um we've had two come in it's justin really wanted to keep it we're gonna put it up this is avengers number four. Oh. oh my goodness yeah. um this is this is doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, <laughs> one comic enters. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that is a freaking beautiful book, and that's one of our that's giveaways. Amazing. No, I'm just kidding. No, that, that that's a beautiful book. If you collect comic books, you realize that it's the first Silver Age appearance of the one and only Steve Rogers, Captain America. He gets found in the ice by Submariner. Uh, uh, no, by the Avengers, and then they fight Submariner. Uh, this was this is you can go back to Overstreet all the way back to the original issues. This has always been. A sought after book, and with a white cover, and we're gonna we're gonna pull this out because it is an expensive book. We are asking six hundred and fifty dollars for this book. Came in with a collection, and uh, really, it should be graded. It should if, be if if there wasn't what was going yeah, on. If we weren't in the middle of the apocalypse. But you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, and we want to make it worth your guys' time to watch to this. watch this. And you believe me, there's some on par hammers still coming. Okay, first thing. It is not all yellowed. It's a very, very solid book. You've got a spot here. Look at that. Look at the spine wear. Minimal. You've got a spot here. Now, here's where it comes. The back. Yeah. Mr. JP and JP MP loved, this damn loved book. his book. And he decided to, to write his name on the back of the book. But correct me if I'm wrong. It's not going to grade super high. The the front, if it was all like the front, this that would be is a, a six. Right, six, right. This, it would be a a, a great, but but now it became affordable. Four. It's a four o and displays like a six. Right, you're getting a beautiful book for six hundred fifty dollars. This is in, I have no problem calling this a four four five. Um, let me show you the interior, man. That it's is just the back. It's just the back. It's just a beautiful book. And that roll. JP. Um, JP. Freaking JP. JP. You've got a crease here, a nick here. You've got a little bit of tape on the back here. Anybody would be. pages. Uh, Gort, here, let me take, let me show you. My you, goodness. Tom Feaster is watching right now, guys. Give him a shout out, please. Hey, hey, hey Tom. Tom. Hey, look at that. That is yeah. a gorgeous copy, man. Um, so what is that from the Staples? That, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Tom, you got I didn't forget about your GI Joes. Okay. We're gonna look at your Joes, Tom. Yeah. We we've got six fifty on it. I just need to show you. Tom is a uh, author, writer, and artist. Uh, just an artist. I think just, he does it all. Just an artist. No, no. But you know, some guys that just do art and don't you know right. write. Tom's uh, done some GI Joe books, all kinds of stuff. Here is the classic panel. Oh wow. Um, where they find Cap. The page is nice. And we want to show it to you. Let you see it. Six fifty, guys, all day long. If I throw this on eBay, it's gone tomorrow. There's no way this book is going to last the whole video. Well, we'll see. I, all right, we we are on an Avengers run. Let's keep it going. All right. Another key. Another key. Why uh, is it a key? Who's it? Because it's. I'll tell you why it's a key. Yeah, because it's the first time it, Spider Man meets the Avengers. This yeah. is going to be Avengers number eleven. I want three hundred dollars. Going once, no. But seriously, <laughs> I want three hundred dollars, and I'm going to tell you why. It, first of all, it's a key. It's beautiful. Second of it's all. It's one of our... Oh, my God. Um, okay. Look at that. I mean, this is a... Look, this is a solid VF. Not VF minus, not VF plus. It's a VF. It's right there. It's, it's right there. Yep. What you have is you've got checks on the spine, but they didn't break the color. And, and it, this book, I have no problem 
it, it's going to grade a six, yeah, six pressed five. Pressed and clean. Pressed and clean. Yeah. You might be looking at a seven zero. Um, JP, I wish he would have wrote on this one instead of <laughs> instead of the four. I don't know what the fuck of all books. Excuse me. <laughs> all right, all right. JP should have wrote on the on the on this one or even the two or the three. How or, cool is it that Spider Man's meeting the Avengers? Yeah, I I believe. Can anybody tell me? I think it's a Kirby cover. Um. It might be too good for Kirby, actually. Kirby did not draw Spider-Man well. It was not, not his, his forte. Um, it might be a Heck cover. It's Don Heck interior, off-white, white pages. Solid, solid VF book. Key. And first time Spidey meets the Avengers. Yep. There you it's go. Definitely an Avengers key. Oh, I just ripped it. Just kidding. <laughs> You got me and Frank both. Oh, man. I was like, oh, man. All right. 250. <laughs> All right. We've got another hot book. Now, it's a VG. It's 90 bucks. It's the first appearance of Red Guardian. Who is this Ooh. Red Guardian? Um, we all know oh, why this book yeah. is hot. It's in the New Widow movie. Yep. Um, book used to be a, a really not a, a big book. It's on fire right now. This is... There's no need to get crazy with it. It's a VG plus, solid copy, borderline fine minus, nice back. If anything, you've got some this the page quality is a little bit less. She's got some tanning on this. This came from the other collection. Oh yeah. Yeah, this yeah. came from the other collection. Um Alex uh, says that the uh Avengers eleven is a Kirby cover heck interior. What? Wow. Thank you, Alex. That's probably the best Spider-Man Kirby drew in the early days, because this <laughs> Spidey sucked. Other than fantasy. Um okay, you've got some You've got some tanning in here, and that's why the book's ninety bucks. And some shadow, what is that Sh called? Shadow, shading, shading on the back? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's a tanning shading. Yeah. Um, look, really nice, solid, hot book. Uh, again, ninety bucks. It, 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 it's a fine. He's gonna be in VG. the new Widow movie. There you go. Yeah. And we're moving on. So, should I stick with Avengers? Let's let's change up, man. All right. Let's let's go. I don't know. Oh, you got a lot. Let's do the Avengers. No, man. Let's, All right, let's... Avengers twelve. Great cover. Yes. If you ask me, awesome cover. One of the top in the first run of the first run. Yep. Um, Man, might be Kirby again. Looks like Kirby's it's fingers. It's a VF. There's Black really, cover. Listen, um, it's a VF 1, 140. Um, I'm going to try and go through these quicker now. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you want the book, I'll go back and pull it out. It's a VF. It's just as nice as that Spider-Man book. Uh, 140. Hey, you know, that may end up really cutting our time in half. Let's do this. I, I, I have a suggestion. I, let, can you guys respond? How about if we just start going through the books and you guys ask us about books that you're interested in rather than us sitting here going through every book? and, and Okay. Uh, right. I mean, yeah, that'll sure. cut us by hours. Sure. Um, what was the price on the Avengers 9 again? We have a question here from... Uh... Uh, that's right... Rafe, is it Rafe or Rath? Could you let me know? Because I feel terrible if I'm saying it wrong. Avengers 9, 150. First Wonder Man. Uh, Wonder Man. I think we said this was a, a, a finer VG. No, it's, 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 a, it's a better. No, it's a VF, man. That was Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was gorgeous. gorgeous. Yep. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Any questions, just let us know. We'll be right. happy to pull the book out. Go ahead. What, what do you again? think? I think we just. 9 was 150. I think we just start banging the books out. Yes. And saying, hey, if you guys, yep. any qu we're going to go slow. We're not going to just go boom, boom, yeah. boom. But we'll, we're just, we'll pull it. We'll say what it is. And if you're interested, let us know. We'll go back and look at the book. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. right? We're learning as we go. Oh, Paul Barras is watching. Cool. Paul, he don't want to pay this money. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to find it in a Who dollar bin. Who is it? Paul Burris. Oh, oh, no, he ain't buy it. Paul, nah, Paul's a good guy. He's Paul's a great a guy, guy, I know, but Th he's, a, he's a hunter. Hunter. Thank you, Rafe. I didn't want to mispronounce your name. His name is Rafe. Okay, <laughs> here we go. We've got, we're sticking with the Avengers while we're on it, but believe me, a lot of cool books coming up. Avengers 13, first appearance of Count Nef Nefaria. Um, Boy, if you got the money, you got an Avengers collection. Oh, I know, I know. This is yeah. yeah we we they need a one um, <laughs> over my dead body. <laughs> I know. Um, hey, it can it's, happen. It's at home. Um, off the top of my head, this is a VF copy. It's seventy dollars. Let's and we're just gonna All keep right. we're gonna keep doing it. Avengers that way. fifteen, sixty five bucks. Really nice, beautiful, beautiful. above beautiful. average copy. No doubt um, about it. Guys, take into consideration when we're pri when we're giving you the price. Um, that that's really going to have determine the grade. Um, yeah. if, if that book was a, a good a beater, it'd be a twenty dollar book. To us, they're priced very fair 
According to the grade. To the grade, yeah. right. Let's stick with the Avengers, Just, right? right? Or, or you want me to rock? Um, yeah, go, go ahead. Avengers 18, 60. In case you need an 18. This is how we'll do it, yep. Avengers 19, First Swordsman. Ooh. Oh. 75. Gorgeous book. I yep. love that Great cover. cover. Yep. Here's a big one. Avengers 28, no pun intended, First Goliath. Right? Oh, man. 150. It's a gorgeous book. For us to be asking 150 for that book, that should tell you something. Yeah. If you're interested in it, let us know. I think that's all the Avengers now. Okay, we are... We're going to start pulling out some you big... Do Fantastic Four? Yes, yeah, all right. right. All right, we're going to start pulling out the next big big line of uh, of books. So and I it's going to be... We're, we're shooting over to and Fantastic remember, Four. And remember, if anybody new is on here, at the end of this, we're giving this away. We're giving this away at the end of this. Um... Maybe maybe the people who bought something get you know get a uh, get I think it's people who anybody who bought something gets you know that's the way we did it before yeah right? it's yeah, fair yeah because well, we'll, I don't want to dick those people no um, we've got a big key coming up um, do you want to let me you go first let me okay uh, we're gonna very do, dangerous yeah you go first you'll go first be careful on the table oh yeah yeah, yeah I'm moving table. okay uh, early FF's tough we both have Italian genetics uh -huh. so we tend to bang things and talk bang with our things. hands yes Right. Hold on. Bang things. Hold on. They're banging everything. Mush, mush, mush. Uh, okay, we've got Avenge. Uh, we've got Fantastic Four sixteen, Doctor Doom appearance, special guest appearance by Ant Man. Uh, we're asking one twenty five. That's going to go back. If you need to, if you need info on these books, just ask us. Justin, hit him with the hammer. Here's a biggie. Fantastic oh. Four. Number two. two. Number two. Grab it up there. It's going to be a low VG or a good, a high good. It's it's uh, you know it's got some spine beat. It's it's a, it's Fantastic Four number two. First appearance of the scrolls. Yeah, this is a tough book. Yes, it's still ten cents pay that which yep. is awesome. That's how early so. That's how early is. this book is. I think yep. by four they go to twelve cents. Um, I can't even believe does this predate? What does this predate? This is the everything. This is everything by number one. one. Yes, this wow. is the beginning Before of the Hulk. Be yes. Beginning fantasy. of the Marvel Universe. Before yeah. fantasy. Spider-Man does not exist when this book was printed. Wow. Wow. First scrolls, they don't even have costumes. costumes yet. Yep. They're running around in suits and uh thousand dollars. Beautiful. We'll get book. into it. If anybody's serious here, uh, we'll pull it out and get into it very specifically. Right. Or, or, or even offline. So, yeah, if you if you're exactly. not yeah, if you want to call about it, we have That's Fantastic that. Four number two. Thousand dollars. Okay. I'm going to do some quickies here. We've got Fantastic Four. I'm just zipping them out. 20 reader copy. Uh, 40 bucks. We've got 23 above average VG book. 50 bucks. Doctor Doom appearance. Anything with Doom is hot. First Doom right now is, yeah, is through number five. Easy. Paul's got a number five. I bet you found it in the three dollars. Oh, Brenda's bro. watching. She said she fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, Avengers. We've got an FF twenty four. The first infant terrible. Woo. Okay. Uh, I got one more. One more, which is a hot book. Well, one more in this round. You're still. Yeah. Going. Oh yeah. We've got tons. We've plus. got Fantastic Four twenty six, which is the Avengers meet the Fantastic Four to battle the Hulk. It is the second part of the first time that Thing fights Hulk. Of a two-parter. Uh, cool book. Nice. Again, these early FFs when they came in with the collection, they all tend to be between good and VG. They're above average reader copies. All are complete. If you want to know about any of them, that's a $60 book. Uh, Justin's got some better books a little bit later. So let's let's uh, let's jump over to you, Justin. Yeah, I got to tell you, I want to do something real quick. Um, hand me that. Just sitting right there. It's just nothing. That, that, that turtle's... Variant cover, whatever it sure. is. Sure. Batman Turtles. Right? The next COA. Book is um, Batman uh, copy. Uh, it's a variant. It's just a COA with a variant of uh, 1,500 copies. It's. It, I'm going to give this away. Next book that sells, the person gets this book as well. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. You can actually buy a twenty dollar FF or and get, that for free. And get a fifteen dollar variant yep. for free. Um, guys, we don't have a Captain America one hundred up in this, right? No. Okay. No, we no. have one oh nine coming. Yeah, Brian, not not this time around. <laughs> Beautiful one oh nine, which is his origin issue. Yeah, we don't own a one oh I don't own a one oh one right now. We don't have one, do we? No, we sold we it. We sold it. We sold it to a very deserving 
who who did he go? To? Um, uh, what's his name? Who used to who got the painting done? Uh, yeah, R- Ryan. Uh, you got me on the spot. I'm sorry. Anyway, it went to a very deserving home. Uh, all right, more Fantastic Four. Seventeen, Doom cover, hundred bucks, dude. Oh uh, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a VG plus. It's not quite a fine. Beautiful book. It's number seventeen. Anybody who collects these comics realize early yeah. FF is just tough. This is a key. Yep, it's first Super Scroll. First Super Scroll. It's a hundred dollars. I'm actually surprised that we priced it that low. Which it's it's um. Again, good VG. If you're interested, just pin up, st- we'll stop and we'll go over any books. Yeah, so do another any, Fantastic any Four? Do, do another um, Fantastic Four. Did we already go through all the X-Men? Um, that was everything, right? I think that I think so. I think so. Yeah, Len- Lenny, I'm pretty sure that we already went over all the X-Men, but we can recap at the end if you'd like. Yep. Uh, all right, so yep. FF34. I believe it's first Gideon. 100 bucks. Yeah, th- this very is, nice book. We're on an FF run right now. Yep, and we're gonna get to other stuff. Um, yep. All right, so we've got FF twenty seven. Really cool book because it features Submariner, Doctor Strange, early appearance of Strange, um, and we've got fifty bucks on that book. And we're gonna pull that. Ah, uh, number twenty eight is a very. It's again, man. I hate to keep slashing keys around, but so much of the early FF had so many original things in it. This is number twenty eight. X Men meet meet Fantastic Four. I think this is the first time they meet. Don't hold me to that. Classic cover. Nice reader, above average reader actually. Um, and we've got sixty five on that. Um, we're gonna go. We're just banging out these numbers. Number 29, Watcher Appearance, Watcher's Hot. I don't want to use the word key again. 65 bucks. I mean, everything's a key these days. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Justin's right. got a couple gonna... biggies coming up. This is Third Surfer, I believe. No, this isn't. This is Third Surfer. First cover. First cover. Yeah. Which Look is, at that I know. Cover. This is one of the tough ones to, to, to sell, actually. This is a phenomenal cover. Uh, most surfer covers are, and but this is the first one. SF20 so. claimed by Raph. If we can get that going. Uh, okay. Congratulations again, Raph. And he gets the Batman. Oh, cover. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Let me make sure we take that out of the system. And we'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll do that again? Yeah. yeah you want to pull gonna, another book? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, all right. So not yet, but we'll, yeah. we're going to do that again. Um, I want 450 for this book. That's a very fair price for the condition and the, 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 the it's awesome. I Listen, mean. this might be the book of the sale. I'm not trying to push anything on you. If if anybody's really interested and in, we'll take it out of that, it is this I think it's a VF, man. I I, I mean it's a if, gorgeous, if you grade it, <laughs> it's a I gorgeous should be great, book. Grading it. This should be graded. It's one of the hot... Anybody out there who's listening, who's taking the time to watch us, realizes how hot this book is. We're just going to put it on the side. Put it back here, just next to the number two. 450. <laughs> yeah, if you're a Fantastic Four... I mean, come on. Look at the Avengers and Fantastic Four books we're pulling out of here. You want to do it? I get this last my Fantastic Good Four. Good, too. Yeah, man. We, Final we... Fantastic Four on my side is another Surfer cover, 55... Another phenomenal... Who did these covers? Kirby. These are all Kirby. Oh, yeah, he was the Fantastic Four guy, He was right? the guy, yeah. yeah. It was his baby. Yes. Actually, Stan Lee didn't write these he stories. He invented the whole space yeah, thing. this is all, all him. Yeah. yeah, this is all Kirby at his best. Honestly, I prefer the 50 cover over the 55 cover because the 55 is the, the, fir- yes. the first cover. Yeah. But the 55 cover I like better, if that makes sense. I like the 50... Because it's the first surfer. Yeah. I love this cover. Um, That's awesome. And we, They're both beautiful books. They are. I got 115 on this book. Um, anybody, and there it is. Anybody interested? Yep. It's, there it is. Um, okay. We've got... I'm going to zip through some Fantastic Fours. Again, all above average reader copies. VG or better. We'll go over anything you need if you want to really really see the book. We're happy to stop and go Pardon over me. the book. me. You keep going. Okay. I'm going to zip through a bunch of them then, all right? We've got number 30, First Diablo. boom We've got number 31, Mole Man Appearance. Boom-bah. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even say. <laughs> number 30, Boom-bah. First Boom-bah. Diablo, boom $40. Okay? Really nice, solid copy. Has the uh, subscription date on it where they would pull them off of the uh, stand. And 
we've got number 31, which is $45. If you're looking to fill in some FF, this is the way to go. Mole Man appearance, cool cover. Kirby at his height, really. Definitely at the height that of their... That cover is awesome. It is. It really is. I love that. This is one of my favorite covers is coming up there. right now. Isn't that cool? They started montaging the, the backgrounds. That was Kirby. Kirby. Who is the guy in the front there with that blue? Is he a that, stone man? Ask, I'm glad you asked that because number 33 is the first appearance of Attila. Uh, he beautiful. Looks like, he looks like the Kurgan from, this, from Highlander. He does. Yeah. Or the Highlander looks like him, actually. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Submariner, first Attila, $45. I believe this is a VF. Um, let me know if you're interested. We'll go over the book. Yeah, guys, just please don't be afraid to shout out if you want to look at something. Yep. Uh, number 40, early Daredevil appearance. So if you're into Daredevil. Ooh, who was asking about Daredevils? Yeah, Daredevil, uh, I think, was maybe. Robert was asking about Daredevils. Here you go. Nine months old at this point. Because, um, again, Daredevil and um, Avengers, or Daredevil and X Men were later into the Silver Age, about a year. So we've got. $35 on this classic FF number 40. I think it's 1965, 64. Um, Daredevil appearance. I think it's the second time they meet Daredevil. Because wow. I think 39 is the first time they meet him. Very cool. Um, we're just zipping along. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, this is considered one of the classic covers of the era. Really cool Kirby art. Dude, what what is he's how many arms does he have there? Uh, that's Mr. <laughs> Stretchy, man. Imagine being married to that. No. No. <laughs> I would not want to be married to any man that named himself Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, and was stra and able to stretch. Yeah, there's a lot of... <laughs> All right, we've got number 42. Uh, fine VF. Nice copy. $30. $30 Dude, bill, 30, ship. 30 bucks. Free shipping for a book of this age. This good look. It, come on. Now, what's really cool <laughs> is it's the beginning of Marvel using the pop art logo. Which I loved because they were trying to college youth. Was that like the Foom era or a little well, before? What it was was it was like Stan was so plugged into like college, you know, the college kids reading the books, <laughs> and everything was like you're pop art. Just sitting there, in yeah, outfit, you're, you're eating doing a your of thing. We're rolling along. <laughs> Next giveaway. Oh, nice, nice reprint. Of Giant Size Number One. Yeah, I like that. Next, so, next book that's next sold. Next purchase gets a reprint of Giant Size Number One. Uh, and it's a it's a near mint book. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, it's a it's just a cool book to have if you can't buy the giant size. The giant size. And it's a freebie, so uh -huh. we can't complain if it doesn't come back near nine eight. <laughs> uh, okay, FF forty four. The gentleman's name is Gorgon, uh, which for, is weird because the Gorgons were women. Yeah, not in Kirby's <laughs> world. Not in Kirby's world. Uh, I gotta get used to these these uh, apocalyptic glasses. <laughs> Uh, nice, nice VG. No, this is no, this is better than the V. Yeah, this is a, a VG fine. Thirty dollars shipped. Nice, nice FF book. Now we've got a key. I got a key. I got two big key FF books coming. Um, number forty six is the first appearance of Black Bolt. Hmm. Um, the Inhumans are hot. This, the, this TV show sucked, unfortunately, but for some reason, anything. In that early mid forties, all the way up to fifty, with the Fantastic Four, first Galactus, first Surfer, first Inhumans, is on fire Black right Panther. now. Black Panther, all that fifty two up to fifty two, uh, fifty three actually. This is a hundred twenty five dollar book. It's a very nice book oh, at a, a really cover. really great deal. Um, it is. It's uh, if you need it, if you if you're looking for uh, forty six, this is the way to go. Um, now another key, Justin. We're man. We're almost done. Fantastic Four. Oh, so Scott Palace is watching. Yo, Scott. What's up, man? Sitting there with a six pack, on vacation. Scott, while we're while we're hustling comic books. Yeah, well, he's got all. He, Scott has all the money. He can take a time off. Yeah, yeah. He's been. He, yes. Yeah. Scott, I'm not gonna bust your balls. I'm gonna say hi and say how are you. What is up, Talis? What's up, man? <laughs> We're trying. You would see my face, but I don't want to get that close. We're doing our distancing. <laughs> um, six feet. Six. Well, couple. One foot. We're trying to say six feet no, anyway. You, yeah. you guys are four, five, eight feet. Uh, away. come on. Shh. We're six feet away. We're six yeah. feet. Okay, we've got another key. Now this book's hot, man. Um, this is the second appearance of Black Panther. 
Wow. And it's his first time his origin. Okay. Okay, so it's definitely... Wakanda uh, forever. Wakanda forever. Um, what do I got on this book? Oh, man, I got $65 on this book. Uh, it's it's an above average VG. Uh, hot book? Second Black Panther, Panther is $65. In this condition. Okay. Yep. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, uh, it's it's a hot book and it's a good deal. And if anybody wants us to go over it, let us know. I have, oh, oh. I have what I think is one, well, not what I think. It's considered the one of the classics right here with fifty as far as Silver Surfer covers. You take those two and Look then at, that cover with him and Thor. Fifty five. Oh, oh, no, uh, yeah, uh, Silver Surfer so, number four, and you have some of the greatest. Oh my God! Yeah, this is uh, Kirby. Really at his artistic best, and coming to the end of his run on Fantastic Four in a couple, not not too, not a little bit. He went a little few years later, seventy two, uh, high grade example. When I say high grade, I want to say VF. It's eighty five dollars because of the grade, classic cover, beautiful cover. Man, that's just beautiful. I got to tell you, I'm surprised that the Black Panther books not getting picked up. And then we've got first over mind, nice book. Ten bucks. <laughs> uh, free yeah. shipping. Free ship. Uh, oh yeah, no, yeah. It's it's it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, just right, let me jump in. Let's change. Let's get. We're done little, with FF. By I'm, the way, I'm going to throw a little bronze in here right now. There's still some silver age. Yep. But here's a, just a great, gorgeous bronze key. It's going to be the first defenders, and that's just a killer cover, man. Hundred bucks, cool, cool. Man, I'm glad we didn't sit and go over each book. It's cool. You now. looking for DC? Who's looking for DC? My friend Tiffany. Tiffany, Mister Miracle number one. This is going to be uh, early Beautiful. bronze, fifteen center. Uh, yeah. Or late silver. No, yeah, no, yeah, right there. You can yeah. call it either or. Definitely a key. Gradable, hundred twenty-five bucks. There's a DC book for you. Oh, got I got another Avengers here. Yeah, well, oh, I got a couple too. Yeah, we'll, we'll we got it. it's the only graded book that we have today. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot out some DC, so we're just changing it up a little. Uh, a book that recently, that for years was in dollar bins and has recently really taken off because the movie was the movie was so good, don't you think, Justin? Shazam was pro arguably one the, of the best DC movies. By, yeah, because the tone was right. It was uh, it was the best DC movie. Ever. Brendan Brendan does not care for superhero movies, and I dragged her to this, and she enjoyed it. Uh, it's it's getting hell. Um, oh. So we've got Shazam number one, nice solid VF near mint copy. Uh, 50 bucks. Dude. Yep. Number I, I, one. I, I mean, I, I thought we said we weren't doing apocalypse prices. We're, well, that's an apocalypse <laughs> price. Nice book. Nice, solid. Nice, solid book. Uh, I, I, I don't have a problem calling it a VF near mint. Um, if anybody wants us to go over it, we'll go over it. Um, sticking with DC. Now, this is a big DC. This is an expensive DC. Oh, one of my favorite covers. Look at that. This is done by a guy named Neil Adams, that is. Never heard of him. He uh, it's Neil fucking Adams. Neil fucking Adams, <laughs> uh, one of one of the most iconic covers, arguably Dude, of the era. I gotta get up and look at it. A little uh, close. Yeah, not too close. This close book there. just rocks. Dude, what high grade mean? example? So good. And the big deal is, is it's the first silver, uh, first reappearance of Two Face. It is without a doubt a, a Batman and Robin key. We are asking two twenty five, um, non negotiable because I, the books. Beautiful, absolutely stunning copy, high grade. It's beautiful. Um, Tiffany is asking for a little bit more on the Shazam. Do we take a, a better? Yeah, look oh yeah, we'll definitely yeah. we'll roll out. Shazam. Next, we have this tub of disinfecting wipes. <laughs> Three grand. Ninety six percent full. <laughs> we just bought it. Okay, Tiff. I took the book out. I just want to show you. We've got. Let's go over the spine. You've got one, two. Three, four minor checks, nice solid book, beautiful edges. Justin, can can you see the uh, how's those Careful corners? I just wipe the table. How do, yeah, how do those corners look? Uh, top corner sharp. Okay. To my eye, it's nice. It's a, you got a little bit of um, a bend, soft, up. a little bendy down here. At this. Okay. All right. Um, so we've got. I'm going to let you take a look at it. 
We'll go. We'll show you the back. Man, back the color is nice. Back's got a little bit of a, a color. Again, it was white. Yeah, so you got a little, um, a little fading, fading or whatever. I you got want to call what do we it? call yeah, that? Shadowing. shadowing. Yeah. Beautiful interior. It's just a nice, solid number one for fifty bucks shipped. Um, uh, and it's got to be if, a high fine, right? I mean, it's a VF, man. Yeah, okay. yeah it's really yeah. a VF. Um, it's got enough minor flaws not to be a near mint, but it's it's better it than still a fine. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I have no problem calling it a VF book. And um, he undergrades. Typically, sometimes he doesn't look inside of a book, but we made sure we went and looked at everything. We, we did, yeah, we tried. We tried. And again, man, anything, if you if anybody's not happy with a book, we, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're yeah. cool. Yeah, we're not we'll those people. Um, we, we'll, all, we always grade low anyway. We That's do. Just how we're going to, uh, we've got Swamp Thing number one, done by a guy, a man named Wrightson. Bernie, that is. Mm -hmm. Um. One of Penelope's favorite artists of all time. Dude, he's up there, that's for sure. He is up there. Uh, it's number one. Really nice book. 100 bucks buys it. Uh, Tiffany is taking the Shazam. Okay. Tiffany, thank you. Thank you, Tiff. And Tiffany, I know... Oh, you get the X-Men. You get the X-Men. Oh, that's right. Yep. Uh, or, Tiff, we're going to give you we're gonna give you a pick. Right? <laughs> what is that? What's one and two? Uh, it, we, if you don't want a Marvel... We'll give you a DC oh, Batman right. one or two. It's one and two. Look one, num uh, number one and two of Batman Adventures. Yep. You pick. I understand if you don't want a Marvel. <laughs> put them both in the pile. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll let her pick and we'll. All right. I don't yeah. Put her yeah. On the we're spot. fine with that. Yeah. That's cool. Tim, well, I'll hit you up after this. <laughs> okay. We had Swamp Thing number one for a hundred bucks. And that's, I think that's the end of our DC. And we're coming to an end of this. This is, we're actually moving along really fast because we didn't go over each book, which yep. is cool. If anybody wanted a book, that was easy. That's going to make, we can do this all the time. Yeah. I love it. Um, you want to bring out a graded book? All right, so we've got another Avengers. This time we got first, Penelope's favorite cover uh, of all time. You should be letting me do this one. There's a reason <laughs> that we're actually selling this because we would never sell this book. We love this book. Yep. First vision, it, it well, I think it's a three five. <laughs> uh, Nailed it. Uh, I'm going to give it off white white pages. All right. Yeah. Tiffany is going with the Batman, so uh, we can have there the X Men. There you go. X Men goes to the next <laughs> the giant size X Men. Thank you, Tiff. I mean, this is what it is. I mean, you can't. You know, it displays great. I, I it's need the best I need to do ever. some Vanna waiting with this book. Right. This uh. is look at this cover. Seriously, I'm going to get up close and personal. This is one of the most gorgeous comic covers ever. We got to see this original art in yeah, person. Yep. Can you imagine owning that original? Dude, no. we got to see it in person. Penelope died. We, we I, all... I was literally crying. One look, of our best days. It was a really good day with a lot of friends Monochrome, and family. Monochrome, red, pinks, and whites. Absolutely gorgeous. It's only a 3.5. It must be something inside that made it a 3.5. The back's a little bit. Is it say The up, front. Or... I have no yeah, idea the, because... The it, greater notes would tell it, you. It actually mm. looks... It, listen, I know people say it this all the time. Beautiful. It beautiful. I think if it was raw, I would have said it's a 4.5 or too a 5.0. 5.0. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful book. There's some issues on the back. And that that's what you want. When it's a low grade... Yeah, you want the issues to be on the back because right then you have an affordable book that displays amazing. That displays like a five or a six. Right. First Vision. Now this book was on fire a few years ago when, sure. when Ultron came out. Yep. It's come down a little bit, yep. but it has always been a sought after Avengers what book. What did I say? One sixty. Uh, I forget. I think that's what I said, right? I I don't I I don't remember. One sixty. Yeah, one sixty. One hundred sixty dollars. I forget when it came in. Um, For, it's already graded. The work is done. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's here. This has been fun. Dude. And and like the, like we said, the next purchase still gets Stick it up on the end Giant the Size. Giant Size reprint. Okay. All right. Um I'm gonna zip through, man, because uh, again, you don't wanna keep people here forever. I know yeah. you guys are sitting home. Well, what I'll do is yeah, after they're this. Bored. They're loving this. <laughs> we will do uh we'll do the drawing for the giveaway. And we'll do a walk around. And then we'll ask if anybody wants to see anybody wants to hang out and see walk around the store. Or see a specific um, pile right. of books. No Spider Man's today? Uh, yeah, we got a Spidey coming up. John, we got a Spidey coming up, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll do it right now. So John okay, Ramita we got Jr. it coming up now. Yes, John Ramita Jr. is on the stream asking. Hey, Mr. Ramita. Um, <laughs> your dad rocked. Uh, yeah, your dad was cool, man. It's a shame you don't draw as good as your dad. Uh, <laughs> but it's a shame, it's a shame, Mr. Ramita, that you didn't draw as good as Ditko. Uh, <laughs> the opinions expressed by Frank Mazentoff are in no way Oh no, Dicko Kirby, man. I mean, Dicko <laughs> Ramita has been an argument since Forever. day one. Okay. Who Spider Man is better? Who Spider Man is better? Uh, 
Mr. Romita, we got Amazing Spider-Man 59. This is the lone amazing in here. Uh, we just didn't, we didn't, we, Spideys don't stay in. I'm surprised this is still here. It is the first cover appearance of a girl named Mary Jane. Oh, wow. It's a cool cover, too. Very right. 60s hip. Um, this is a VF book. Um, if you need more info or you're looking for that copy, it's going to cost you 65 bucks shipped. Beautiful book. Um, really nice. This book borders on VF Near Mint. I think it's got some uh, color toning, which is why I, I don't want to call it Near Mint. Beautiful copy. Um, okay. We are... Oh, man. Yeah. Got a, got a nice... This is a book you don't see, and this is the reason that it's actually a little more expensive than you would think. Um, all day I've been talking about speculation. This is Strange Tales number 20, 126. Early Strange Tales with Dr. Stranger Tough. Um, my whole 30 years of collecting comic books, I've only had the first appearance of Dr. Strange once, and that was I only got a couple months ago. Um, just don't see those strange books. You've they actually were, had people pull out of deals for that book. Yes, a big argument yeah. uh, ensued about that. Um, this is 126. It actually is an important issue, especially, I hate to speculate, it's the first appearance of... Um, of Dormammu, who I never knew how to say until the movie, but it's <laughs> also the it's the, also the first appearance of Clea, which is his girlfriend, okay. who hasn't made an appearance yet. Dormammu's but, girlfriend? No, Strange's <laughs> girlfriend. Okay. So there's a rumor that she's going to be in the next movie. So this is her first appearance. Very nice, solid copy. These fuckers are always beat, and this one's not. 130 buys it. You don't see these in this condition often. Um, I mean, you do, look, you, can you go on eBay and buy it? You don't see them here in South Jersey very yeah. often. Okay. Um, zipping through, man. Avengers 87. 60 bucks buys it. Hits his origin again. <laughs> oh, another origin? Another origin. I guess they felt that they, I think it was more in they depth. They to add to it? Yeah, they added to it. Uh, hot book right now. Anything with Panther right now is yeah. on fire. When the second movie comes out, everybody's looking forward to it. Um, one of my favorite Marvel movies. It was well done. And, and I didn't expect much from it. it. It actually was like Guardians. I really didn't go there expecting much and liked it. Um, don't know that it was Academy Award worthy, but, but that's a different argument. It was good. Uh, it was good. I liked Shazam better, I think. Me too. Me too. Uh, <laughs> off the cuff. Nice, nice copy of Howard the Duck number one. Twenty five bucks buys it shipped. Enough said. How, Class, how, classic how, Bruner art. How cute was Leia Thompson in that movie? Oh yeah, <laughs> she was cute. Yeah, cute, cute's the word. Uh, anything with Doom right now is selling. Astonishing Tales number one. Kazar Doom. Uh, the funny part is uh, the cover on this is done by a classic artist named Wally Wood. Kirby did the interior Kazar art. I think Wood did the Doctor Doom. Wow. So, so that's uh, was odd because this is Kirby kind of leaving, getting ready to leave Marvel. Um, Wally Wood was a great, great, uh, well, tragic alcoholic, but a great, great artist. <laughs> he um, trained our, our friend Larry. Yep. Larry worked him for years, yeah. $25 buys this beautiful copy of Kazar and Doom. Shipped. Beautiful copy. Very cool. Um, ah! Ooh. Tales of Suspense 98. Why does it matter? Because Captain America and Black Panther duke it out wow. on a classic that. cover, right? Look at yes. that cover. Beautiful That's cover. Um, not sure who did the art. I think it's Bashema. I could be wrong. Uh, 45 bucks buys it. Anybody interested? Let us know. We'll dig through it. This is... I, this book it says the first origin oh, okay first humanoid and origin of the leader again oh. tales to astonish books just like tales of suspense early stuff 12 centers are tough to find in nice solid grade this is an above average book we've got a 50 dollar bill buys it shipped beautiful book did oh. you say first leader no, first it's his origin. Oh, origin leader. Yeah, because okay. um, I think we, I think at Cause first leader's a Hulk villain that hasn't been introduced yet. And that probably is on deck at some point. Yeah, it's a biggie. Yeah, yeah. but that's his origin, gotcha. not. Yep. Okay, Hulk one twenty two would really be a nothing book except everybody. A lot of people collect 
only Hulk versus Sting covers yeah. and battles. This is one of their earlier battles. Just like some people only collect Joker covers. Or Goblin. Right. Or whatever. Um, this is a high grade example. Near Mint, I believe, 65 bucks for us to be asking $65 for Elite it's Bronze. A it's got to be a beautiful book. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite covers by Jack Kirby. The original art for this, I think, just sold for $200,000 oh at Heritage. This is Captain America number 109. Kirby classic cover, the origin retold. First time it was told in the new Captain America series, which started with number 100. $75 buys that beauty. What is he smashing through there? A newspaper? Newspaper, yeah. Um, the reason this book isn't two hundred dollars is because of the t toning um white cover this book has a lot of toning if you just go off the grade it's a near mint book because of the toning we downgraded it so it's a 75 dollar book mm -hmm. so you're actually getting a beauty cop beautiful copy if you can live with some toning um okay we're coming down to the last couple piles here this book is hot 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 this is barry smith oh oh Conan number one, Ugh. really nice copy, $200 buys it, um, if anybody's interested, this book, go. I, I keep saying it, we purposely picked books we thought people would be interested in, this book's on fire, Conan got reintroduced into the Marvel Universe about a year, year and a half ago, anything Conan is, is hot right now, um, enough said man, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I honestly good. might keep this one for myself. You, you have no problem keeping it. I have no problem. Uh, modern Key. Okay. A book everyone wants. Modern Key. Oh. High grade Modern oh, Key. Oh, that's not Silver Age. No, nah, well, he snuck in. It's, he's, <laughs> it's Deadpool. He's allowed to sneak yeah. in. Um, nice copy. First Deadpool. First Deadpool. 175 buys it. If you're interested, let us know. It's we'll a VF over. near mint, right? It's a VF near mint. Maybe yeah. better. It's, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I want to say near mint. Yeah. I just, you know, it's better than a VF. Okay, and last but not least, we have an interesting thing here that we thought... Yeah, what do you got going on here? Okay. This is a complete run of number one to number 29. That was all that the run entailed. Oh, so this is complete. This is a complete series, series run of Planet of the Apes, Marvel... Curtis, whatever. How cool is that? They, it's awesome. It's so a, they're magazine size. They're magazine now. size comic books. I'm wait till you see these covers. I'm gonna zip through. These I didn't books. know he was bringing these. So I'm, this is cool. Yeah, this was part of a. Uh, now, most of the time, these are just totally warped when they're found because they're magazines. Sure. Every one of these is an above average reading copy. You've got some VF near mints. You've got some VGs. This is number one. Look at that cover. I'm gonna zip through these covers. Wait till you see some of these covers. So you've got one to twenty nine. We're asking two hundred bucks. Wow! Break that down per book. Yeah. It's cheaper than going and it's to the buy. Complete series. It's everything. It's everything. They wow. never made a thirty. Wow! So I, I just you're gonna love this too. You're, what does it say about Rob Sterling? Exclusive interview with Rob Sterling. Yeah. What's really cool was you had your comic part of it, but then they also did like. Uh, like this kind of stuff. Cool. Oh yeah, so, mag right. so, so so it's like a magazine. It's a magazine comic book. Yeah. Yeah. Like a screenplay for Planet Look at this. Yeah. You've wow. got a uh, you've got it's a open. bunch of stuff on the movie. Now this is period mm -hmm. t stuff. This is early seventies. These don't. Doctor Zayas. The, yeah, these, these don't come up. Uh, we don't get these a lot. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying. And anytime we actually get magazines, they're always beat for the most part. Right, right. now this beat. has got look. This has got a little wear on the back. I'll tell you why. There's no bags and boards for these There's, back then. So no, people just they just ended up. This yeah. this I think has been in this box for. Wow. Okay, How so interesting is this? That's number one. Wait till you see these covers. I'm just gonna zip by. I want Justin. Oh, so these look like paintings. Yeah, these wow. are gorgeous. Yeah, these yeah, are wait. paintings. So you got number one, number two. two. This one, number three, number three. I'm just zipping through yeah, them. Yeah, this art's cool. They're yeah, I, I actually want to show these off. They're beautiful, man. Number Crazy. I love that. All original ape stories. A lot of key artists. You've got... See, now this has got to fold. Again, man, these were magazines. Yep. You can't... For $200, 29 books. Top... I mean, just beat it out. I want to show you one of... Certain covers are, are renowned. And I'm going to show you some of them. 
This cover is considered some. When I look these up, wow. this book sells for forty dollars sometimes by itself. Wow! Just um, because. Just because. Look at that cover. I'm going to show you about two or three covers, and then we're going to call it we're a about day. Three weeks from now. Huh? Yeah, I know. This is about three weeks from now. Um, <laughs> if you read these, you will know what's about to You'll happen. You know what to do. Um, this, this. Where is it at? Oh, this is considered. Look, wait till you see these covers. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, these are all paintings. Yeah, this is this these, is this isn't comic art on the covers per se. These are these are paintings, right? Oh, yeah. And then Beautiful. there was one more again that are that are exceptionally hot. Like the like the cut like of the run. There's some you know better. Better covers that actually bring thirty, forty dollars a book. I'm just trying to see if I remember. We got still got people watching us. Yeah, we have 17 watches right now. Cool. Thank you. Know what? Thank you guys for spending for your spending time. your your. I'm sorry, 19 uh, hour and a half 19. sitting here with us. Oh, this was the one. <laughs> this one tends to bring a little bit more. Oh yeah, exactly. you can see, yeah, why. You can see wow. why a Viking ape, which uh, wow. oh yeah. that is bad ass. Oh, oh, I imagine yeah. original art from this. Yeah, it's um, beautiful. it's even cooler when it's not backwards. Yeah, Just so you know. <laughs> so you know. Anyway, you've got two hundred bucks, one to twenty nine. Wow. Um, complete run. Complete run goes online. They'll go in five minutes All right. at that. Okay. Do, do we have a list of names? We are done. We do. Guys, we're done. Right. Uh, we're done. We're, we're gonna do. We're gonna give this away. We're going to give away some COVID. Grab this. Oh, or Corona, I mean. No, Corona. we're not going to give away any COVID, no. Any diseases. Boy, we got to stay from there. Oh, my, uh, my 16. Oh, yeah, okay. Or, or the store yeah, 16. The, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, we do want to say a couple things. Um, when we started out today, we, we we're in Maze Landing. Anybody who's local, I don't know where you're at. We got pizza. We're trying to support the local businesses. Cousin Mario's is right up the street. They are delivering pizza rocked. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. It's great pizza. You, How were the fries? Were good, Penelope. Fries are amazing. So, um, anybody who wants to support local business, we're, we're down. Did Scott leave us, or is he drunk watching I'm us? I died. It just tells me when my friends come in. It doesn't tell me when they leave. Oh. Scott, so, <laughs> Penelope's going to write out the slips of names for the Corona book. Again, uh, if you're new to this, we're giving this away. Um, it's it's amazing that this book exists. This is from the '90s, I think. Ninety-one. Um, Tell the story one more time for anybody who wasn't here. So, I didn't know that. So uh, in 1991, Spidey battled a, uh, I guess, a scientist or an evil scientist who was making some sort of chemical or something. He created her. He created her with chemicals, and the runoff from the chemical plant got into the water, um, or you might say water, but here in New South Jersey we say water, uh, in New York. And started getting people feverish and sick. As you can see, Mary Jane is sick. And the evil person's name was Corona. We're not making this up. We didn't invent this cover. It actually says, who or what is Corona? I know it's backwards there, but believe me, that's what it says. I wonder if... The that... birth of a terrifying new villain. Wow. Spider-Man fought Corona. It looks like he lost. Because... <laughs> Corona's he did, back. Corona's he did get sick. No, no. She yeah. was Corona 18. He beat oh, her. Yeah, he, Spidey, we need you, bro. Yeah. Spidey, only, he did beat Corona 18, not 19. So this book, up until two weeks ago, was in 50 cent bins. Literally. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's a very sought after book. Because we'll look back and remember this time and, and laugh about this for sure. I hope And to so. be honest with you. If you want to support us and you don't want to buy any these comic books and, you know, if you're just looking to support, we have shirts up right now where we took this and did a little homage with it. Uh, you can find it on our... Um, Farpointtoys.com slash Corona is a good place to find them. Um, or you can just browse our Facebook. So we took this and did a little something with it, uh, which we thought was pretty cool and, and, and you know... Is what it is. Um, so we just got a few messages. Uh, Alex said lots of cool books. Thanks for the show. And Carl said thank you guys for doing what you do. Oh, thanks. You're very man. welcome, thank guys. You, man. Thank this you for was even fun. paying attention. This was fun. I'm glad that we found a way to do this fast. Yeah. You know, like uh, we'll get better at this as it goes. Yeah, we're 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 so learning. Into the helmet. Yeah. Thank you for coming to Barter Town. All right. Yes. Are these people so, make purchases? Yes. These are the folks that made purchases. We have Alex, uh, Rafe, Robert, and Tiffany's names in the helmet. And we're going to pull... Anybody want to make a purchase real quick before I pull this? <laughs> <laughs> shake them up. You can't look at them or anything. I'm not looking. Just shake it. I'll, actually, I'll pick it from way over here. All right. 
You guys ready? Yep. Yes. No favoritism. Don't point it toward me. I don't want to see. I'm going to shake it. Shake it again. Shake it a little more. Shake it. Don't break right. it. You took your mama. Rafe. Rafe. Okay, Rafe. I Rafe. Like what a great name. Rafe, it is a great, great Rafe name. Rafe is actually messaging me, but I can't read the messages because I'm doing the live stream. So, Rafe, after this, I'll take a look and see. Hopefully, you're not saying anything I need to know right now. I need to return the book. <laughs> Thank you, Rafe. Um, real quick. Um, Rafe won this, right? Yep. Congratulations, Rafe. Does anybody want uh, us to go look in our... <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want to go look? <laughs> That's a shot right there, guys. There you go. We will. We will. There you, there you go. go. Does anybody want? Um, anybody have any uh, yeah. books or issues um, they're looking for? Let me go asking about Uncanny X Men. You want us to look in the Uncanny X Men pile? Okay. I guess it couldn't hurt, right? Sure. Oh yeah. Is he because... looking for anything specific, or just wants to take a look? Because we're happy to to uh. spend some time with Lenny. Tiffany, thank you. Thank uh, you. Fam, thank you, all you guys. We, we... Uh, Lenny, we did not go over any Uncanny X-Men. You didn't miss any. We do have some in the back issue bins. Um, but you were at the store not that long ago. You may have uh, seen them already. I'm not sure. Now we got dead air here. Oh, no, Corona's in the video. That's nice. That's, that's classy. <laughs> Justin, do you want the camera or do you want to bring it over? I'm just going to bring a pile over. Yeah, just bring okay. a pile. We're going to bring yeah. a pile over. No, Lenny, we did not go over any at the table, but um, I think Justin's got... Silver Age X-Men. Silver think, Age X-Men, yeah, not Uncanny. It was, all, it was all Silver Age X-Men, not Uncanny's. Um, but I think Justin has a small pile he's, he's about to bring over for you. How cool were these Planet of the Apes magazines? Dude, they are so cool. Let's, let's actually, we're, we've got dead air here. Let's take a look at some of them while we're waiting. Oh, this just, is just yeah, too Yeah, I much. know. I, it's just, what a great Look run. at the art on this. Look at that. That is there's too some, cool. There's some wall books up Look there. Look at I'm that. I'm not going to go up and pull down. What the heck? Let me see that. That's awesome art, man. God, look at the art on that. Look at the wow. Awesome I you know how we always like to see, oh oh this is this is look at that cover, Justin. Wow wow man. What is even happening? Yeah, there's some there's some <laughs> funky ape love going on right there, man. Yeah, this issue alone's worth the two hundred bucks. Get your hands on me, you damn dirty. dirty you get your, oh wow. Hey, dirty ape. <laughs> All right, browse up. All right, so these are store best. prices. Typically, we'll go a little lower. We will. We're going to, if you're interested in any of them, we're going to show you the book um, and just email us or email Penelope and we'll come yeah, up with plus something. It's, it's Lenny. Lenny has our personal cell phone number, so we're good. Yeah. All right, Len, X Men 94. I think Lenny's seen most of these, to be I honest. I think he has. Oh, uh, he said, no worries, you don't need to go in depth, so we can just browse, you know. Okay. okay. Just, just blow through it. There's a good book. That's a 101. First appearance of Phoenix. Yeah, mom. One twenty three. One twenty four. I think this is gonna get goofy. <laughs> One twenty four. Perfect. Just hold it up and then say the number. Hold it up and put it down. That 125. works. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Rocking it. One twenty six. <laughs> 127 <laughs> 128 Let me guess, 128 129 Yeah, 131 Okay, 131 <laughs> I think that's White Queen and uh no. Uh she was introduced <laughs> the same one as um Kitty Pride. I got 132 Kitty Pride. 135. Lenny, don't go crazy, man. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, I got there's a ton there's I got a pile of X Men. If, if there's a specific book you want, tell me. Just go with it, Josh. Yeah. yeah. Child of Light and Darkness. Woo. Look at that cover. 132. Oh, 132 rock. 138. Another great 139, cover. 139. 140. 141, <laughs> which we know. Oh, again, classic cover. If you don't recognize that cover, I don't know what to tell you. You know what this is, right? Of course. It's awesome. Do I know what it is? Are you are you past. mansplaining me? Not at all. <laughs> 143. Don't you love this cover? No, that's another one. That's a great Polaris cover. Polaris, you like. I like right? the... um. 164. Uh, I forget. I think it's first Polaris. First Bishop. Everybody has 15 of these. Yeah. Yeah, Lenny, please. Including us. Yeah, Lenny, uh, give us a list. 
And then we're going back to Silver Age. Oh. 36. 37. 44. Ooh. Guys, I'm not rushing us. How long, much longer 52. do you think we're going to be? That's we're going to be done it. in a minute. We're going to be done in a minute, yeah. Hey, Penelope. Holy crap, that what is that? 55. Barry Smith, I believe. What is, who is that? Um, no, that's not the cover. He's thinking Polaris. Polaris, Polaris. Yeah. Man, we got a fifty six. Nice run. Um are people still on? Uh yeah, not as many as before. We still have about fifteen. Sixty two. We we really want to thank everybody 65. for their support. Um we can't stress enough that during these hard business times how much it, it doesn't seem like we sold a ton of stuff today. It all matters right now. So it does. And Frank, thanks for saying that. We it's, uh, we uh, we we, we can't say thank you enough for spending some time with us and helping us out. Um, you know. We hope we're entertaining. <laughs> yeah, we hope you had some fun. One thirteen. Hey, um, we're gonna be on TV this weekend. Oh, oh. yeah. So uh, Saturday at eleven thirty p.m. and Sunday at five p.m. We will be uh, featured on Weekend Filler on PHL seventeen. So you guys are inside anyway. You might as well uh, watch some TV. Uh, somebody DVR it for us, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So I think that does it. Um, anyone who made a purchase, I'll be shooting you a message shortly. Um, anybody have a question about anybody? maybe a yeah. specific book? Yeah. Like, hey, do you have, I don't know. I'll try and look at my, my go on hey, the wall. Um, I have a question. Yes. What's my price for FF2? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe that book. I, uh, we have an FF2. 800 and a Conan 1. A, yes, <laughs> oh my God. I swear. I wouldn't mind owning it, man. I know. <laughs> it's hard to get rid of, I man. know, man. I, I have no problem owning it. We man. obviously have a lot of fun with what we do. We try. We try. Um, and, and the comics are, are near and dear to our heart. Uh, toys are, too, but, but the comics Le- hold a special Lenny, place. Lenny, it's going to be 11.30 p.m. on Saturday and re-airing again at 5 p.m. on Sunday on PHL 17. It's good. The show is called Weekend Filler. It kind of reminds me of... Um, what do you want this, huh? Of no, this, it it kind of reminds me of This Is It from Channel 6 back in the day. They just kind of go to local businesses and, and local events and, and give people an idea of what's going on in the Delaware Valley. We had a lot of fun with them. Uh, um, Tony and Chris and Kristen, uh, we had a great time with them. It was really yeah. cool. Um, so, all right. I think our next Barter Town event is going to be G.I. Joe, maybe. Yeah, I haven't um, announced it yet, but I think we're going to do that on Friday, right? We'll be doing that. So we're going to be doing this fairly often, maybe two times a week. We'll, maybe we'll do another comic one next week. Maybe, yeah. maybe DC, every maybe Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Yeah, we're, we don't even know the day of the week. So what's cool is we <laughs> should set a schedule so people know. Maybe we'll do next comics Wednesday. every Wednesday next at 3. Wednesday. Right. As, as, as long as we're in this current situation. Um, and again, man, it, this may not seem like, oh, they only sold three or four books today. But honestly, it, that's very equivalent to what might have walked in. Yes. So if we... if that's we exactly if, right. If, it's, a good, it's a decent day in the store. If, right. If the register did $300 today and we did it doing it this way, it, it's, exactly. it's, it's... It's really helping... Helping us. And, we, yes. and again, we hope that we can pass the deals on to you. Yep. Um, and... Uh, and Guys, thank you. And for if you watch this video after the fact, contact us about the books. Normally, Please. we would all be hugging and saying goodbye, yeah, but no. high fives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in on the wipes there. <laughs> I, I mean, I will bathe in this stuff. Guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Hold on. Damn button.